Okay class, today we're in section 6.6, .6, Solve Systems of Linear Inequalities. Before, you graph linear inequalities in two variables. Now, you will solve systems of linear inequalities in two variables. Why? So you can find a marching bands competition score as in exercise 36. Key vocabulary, system of linear inequalities, solution, of a system of linear inequalities, graph of a system of linear inequalities. A system of linear inequalities in two variables, or simply a system of inequalities, consists of two or more linear inequalities in the same variable. An example is shown. x minus y is greater than 7, and 2x plus y is less than 8. A solution of a system of linear inequalities is an ordered pair that is a solution of each inequality in the system. For example, 6 and negative 5 is a solution of the system above. The graph of a system of linear inequalities is the graph of all solutions of the system. Key concept. Don't forget key concept along with definitions and examples and guided practice should be in your notes. Graphing a system of linear inequalities. Step one, graph each inequality. Step two, find the intersection of the half planes. The graphs of the system is this intersection. Essential to this lesson, review graphing inequalities. You may want to review graphing a linear inequality in two variables before graphing systems of equations. Example 1. Graph a system of two linear inequalities. Graph the system of inequalities. y is greater than a negative x minus 2, inequality number 1, and y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. Solution. Graph both inequalities in the same coordinate plane. The graph of the system is the intersection of the two half planes, which is shown as the darker shade of blue. After graphing, check. Choose a point in the dark blue region, such as 0, 1. To check this solution, substitute 0 for x and 1 for y into each inequality. So here, they have 1 is greater than 0 minus 2. That's the first inequality. Here, they have 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus one, uh, 6. That's this inequality. Let me reread that. Here, they have 1 is less than or equal to 0 plus 6. That would be this inequality. All right, we're going to give you some more detail to help you out. All right, here they had to graph both these inequalities onto this coordinate plane. When they graph y is greater than negative x minus 2, first they looked at the y-intercept, which was a negative 2, and they looked at the slope, which is a negative 1, or you can say a negative 1 over 1. So when you go down the graph, the intercept of negative 2, that would be here, y-intercept of negative 2, and negative 1, that would be down 1 over 1 for the slope. Down 1 over 1 for the slope. Down negative over positive. And if I'm going the other direction, up 1, positive, over 1, negative. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Now, since it says that y is greater than, that means I shade everything above this line. Everything above that line. That would be greater than everything above that line. Once again, this is a review. This is something you should already know. That should be above. All right, now my next one, I got y is less than 3x plus 6. So here, my y-intercept is 6. So I count up on my y-axis until I get to 6. My slope is 3 or 3 over 1. If I went 3 over 1, that would be 1, 2, 3 over 1. So the line would be going this way. But I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 
over one. One, two, three, over one. And that's how I get that line right there. All right, now here it says that y is less than 3x. So here's my line. So less than has to be everything going back this way. Less than is everything going back this way on this particular line. So the intersection then is the dark region. So anything that's dark is my solution. Anything that's dark is my solution. Anything that's a light blue it is not part of the solution. Also, pay close attention to the fact that the line says less than or equal to for this one. So that's why this line is shaded or darkened. And here it just says greater than, no equal to. That's why this line is dashed. And that's how you graph your system. Now, for those of us who still may be a little bit confused, it would be like if I took this line here. That's my first one. And it says greater than. Now everything in yellow is greater than. That's everything everything above this line that's greater than. On this line, it says less than. So here on the side of the line, that would be the green is less than. Okay, so now wherever you see green and, le and yellow in the same region will be a solution to the system. Everything you see that's green or yellow is a solution to the system. Important uh, piece of information for the rest of this uh, lesson. The solution region in example one, the half plane for each inequality is shaded. And the solution region is the intersection of the half planes. From this point on, only the solution regions will be shaded. So in other words, for the rest of the examples, they're not going to show you the entire region shaded, just the uh, region where the intersection or solution occurs. Example two, graph a system of three linear inequalities. Graph the system of inequalities. Y is greater than or equal to a negative one. X is greater than a negative two. And X plus two Y is less than or equal to four. Even though those looks like a lot of work, you should not be there long. This should be a quick graph. Quick graph. Here you solve for Y. Put it in an MX plus B form real quick. Should take you less than 30 seconds. And you are ready to graph. Solution. Graph all three inequalities in the same coordinate plane. The graph of the system is the triangular region shown. So after they graph all three equations and they shade it in the proper directions, this is the solution that they came out with. Now let's analyze and see how you would have made your graphs. All right, now the graph of y is greater than or equal to a negative 1. That would be this graph right here. You go down, you're at 0, negative 1. So that'd be all, that would be that line right there. Now since it says equal to, the line is going to be solid. Now it did say greater than. So since it says greater than, we shade everything above. Everything above. Everything above. Everything above. That's greater than. Our next graph, x is greater than a negative 2. That would be this graph right here. We locate negative 2 on the x-axis. And it says greater than. That means that greater than goes back this way. So I'm going from the dotted on in that direction. That's greater than. Okay, for our last equation, we had to solve and put it in y equals mx plus b form. So once again, we had to solve for y. How do we do that? x plus 2y is less than or equal to 4. Trying to get the y by itself. X got to go. What's the inverse of a positive X? Negative X. Negative X. What I do to one side, I got to do it to the other. X is canceled out. I end up with 2Y is less than or equal to a negative X plus 4. I want the Y by itself. So therefore, this says 2 times Y. So therefore, I would divide both sides by 2. 2 here, 2 here, and 2 here. 2, two divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with just Y. Y is less than or equal to a negative 1 over 2x because there's a 1 right there plus 2. So my y-intercept is 2 and my slope is a negative 1 over 2 which of course can be rewritten as 1 over negative 2 depending on what our situation is. So to come over here and graph I'm at 0 y-intercept is 2 1 2 so I'm right there and my slope is a negative 1 over 2 
So if I went down one, that's negative. One, two, that's positive. If I went the other way, up one, that's positive. One, two, that's negative. Now I have my line. All right, and it said equal to, so the line is solid. It also says less than, so that means I shade below. I shade below. Okay, once again, to make it a little bit more simpler for those of us who still may be a little bit confused, okay, it says y is greater than or equal to a negative one. All right, that would be um, this graph right here, right? And it says greater than, so that means we shade going up in that direction. All right, that's how to shade it. Here we got x is greater than a negative two. That's this line. So greater than is going this way. Oh, well, that's greater than. All right, and here we had less than. Y was less than or equal to. So less than would be coming back down in this direction. So that's less than. So that means this entire region is what would be shaded with all three colors. And that's what this is where they all mixed up at. This is where they all intersect at. Example three, write a system of linear inequalities. Write a system of inequalities for the shaded region. Solution, inequality one. One boundary line for the shaded region is y is equal to three. Because the shaded region is above the solid line, the inequality is y is greater than or equal to three. Inequality two, another boundary line for the shaded region has a slope of two and a y-intercept of 1. So its equation is y is equal to 2x plus 1. Because the shaded region is above the dashed line, the inequality is y is greater than 2x plus 1. The system of inequalities for the shaded region is y is greater than or equal to 3, and y is greater than 2x plus 1. All right, to help out those of us who still may be confused, you look at this line right here. And you realize the line is at 3 on the y-axis. All right, and it goes across like so. So we know that's going to be y is equal to 3. It's solid, so it's going to be uh, equal to. All right, and since it's shaded above this line, we know it's going to be greater than. So y is greater than or equal to 3. Here, we look at our line. We see that our y-intercept is 2. That's, excuse me, we see that our y-intercept is 1. That's how we see that. All right, and we try to determine the slope, and we end up saying 1, 2, 1. So our slope is 2. Now, it doesn't say um, equal to, so that's why our line is, is dotted. All right, and it says greater than, so that means we, we were going to shade above this line, like so. So where do they intersect? Right in this region right here. Any point in this region is a solution. Example 4. Write and solve a system of linear inequalities. Baseball. The National Collegiate Athletic Association, NCAA, regulates the lengths of aluminum baseball bats used by college baseball teams. The NCAA states that the length in inches of the bat minus the weight in ounces of the bat cannot exceed three. Bats can be purchased at lengths from 26 to 34 inches. Write and graph a system of linear inequalities that describe the information given above. A sporting goods store sells aluminum bats that is 31 inches long and weighs 25 ounces. Use the graph to determine if this bat can be used by a player on a NCAA team. Solution. Let x be the length in inches of the bat. Let y be the weight in ounces of the bat. From the given information, you can write the following inequalities. The difference of the bat's length and weight can be at most 3. x minus y is less than or equal to 3. The length of the bat must be at least 26 inches. x is greater than or equal to 26. The length of the bat can be at most 34 inches. x is less than 34. The weight of the bat cannot be a negative number. Y is greater than zero. After graphing all four equations, you would find that this is the reason that they have in common. The weight they're talking about is here. 
that's outside.